Hi everyone, Lindy here. I am working on my mail art for your paper pantry for October and this month it is Hippie 60s and I guess I kind of know a lot about that being that I grew up then. <laughs> anyway, so I'm using my Raisin Boat stamp set. Oh, I have three of them that are like hippie-ish. This one is called Paint It Piece and I really love this set. I'm also using this set, um, Peace and a Smile, and I love this quote, Peace Begins with a Smile from Mother Teresa, and I love this. You can use that for so many different things. And then I'm also going to use um, this set, Flashback, Gals from Flashback Lane, and I'm gonna, I want to use this far out, out of sight, because we used to say far out all the time, and I might use her on a tag on the inside. So that's what I'm doing. So what I've done so far is I stamped the splash with um, Memento, which one is this, Rosebud, and then I stamped the purple filigree with grape jelly from Memento. Now I'm taking sponge sugar and rolling it, and I did that on this, well, this first one I used purple and I don't really I didn't really like it plus I didn't like this big X I got so what I'm doing is putting a um, little piece of I don't know padding in there and I'm just sticking it in the envelope and then really inking up the the roller I keep adding more ink because this is such a light light color that you know, you need a lot of ink to make it show up. Is the color, to get the color I want anyway. I want it pretty saturated. So I'm really inking this up a lot. I'm not the best at brain, that's for sure. So I like to try these things. So I'm just going to roll over it like this. And then with that, just that pad in there, I don't get that um, X. See, and, you know, it's not real even, which is what I want. And then I also have the spun sugar um, stain. So I was just taking that and kind of going around the edge to get it really on there. You know, all the places where <laughs> it didn't catch. And then I also took the you know, my little distress tool and put that in there just to really get a nice coverage. But if I would have done it with this the whole way, it would have been a lot more work. So now I'm working on, I got the envelopes done. I put a little peace sign and some pink butterflies if you watched Under the Dome, wasn't it? And when the pink butterflies or something like that fly, I don't know. And, um, and then I stamped tags with this image and colored them with Copic markers. Then I backed it with some line paper. And this was just in a, you know, like a file effects, file effects, you know, that I got um, at St. Finney's. So it was just that kind of paper. And I just cut it out to fit the back so someone could write on it. So I stamped it. I stamped far out on it. And now what I'm doing, well, I put a ring in it. Now what I'm doing is taking some things from um, the set paint it piece and just stamping on it with some oh I, I think this is distress ink, spun sugar distress ink and memento a purple and then this is memento uh, dandelion I think. So that's the way my tag's gonna look. I just felt like um, I needed to put something inside the mail art, and I'm going to put a little glitter on that. 